Hey, welcome back to episode 22 of the most overlooked albums. Today's album is an album by Zebra. This album brings me back to high school, my freshman year, late freshman year, early sophomore year. The band Zebra features Randy Jackson on guitar and vocals, Felix Hanneman on, I think, bass and keyboards, and Guy Gelso on drums and backing vocals. The album is produced by Jack Douglas. I will say this, the only issue I have with this album is the production of the drums. I wish the drums were heavier. I wish they were more bombastic, louder, more Zeppelin-esque. The record is very Zeppelin. In fact, the album has elements of a lot of classic bands. Early Rush, Led Zeppelin, I hear Aerosmith, and I hear Yes in this record. But let's take a look at song by song, shall we? First song on this album is a song called Tell Me What You Want. This song was a big hit, great, great rocker, very, very Zeppelin-esque. This kind of reminds me, I want to say, of like, uh, a lot of this album reminds me of Zeppelin around the Houses of the Holy album. And um, this song is no different. The song number two on this album, One More Chance. One of my favorites on this album. Um, I love it. I love his uh, Robert Plant style high vocal. Again, it reminds me on this one, another of that album. Just another great song. They're very well constructed and thought out songs, I will say that. And you can tell listening to it that this is a very rehearsed live band. I will give it that. Again, my weakness in this record is I wish the drums... I wish I could go back and remix this album and bring the drums up higher and fatter. Song three is a Larry Williams song that the Beatles covered. Slow Down. In the middle of this song, he does Carl Perkins' Blue Suede Shoes. It's um, a good version. It's a great cover version. Could be the weakest song on the album, in my opinion. Either that or song eight. But it's still good. Song four is a song called As I Said Before. I think this is an excellent song. Another one of my favorites. Again, it's a well-constructed song. This one has some yes elements into it. But um, it's very good. Song five. A song played in open G. Actually, I believe it's open G. But I think he tunes his D also up to a G. So it's G, G, D, G, B, D on a 12 string. Who's Behind the Door is phenomenal. Probably the biggest hit on the record. My band used to do this song. It's effing great. So many great things about this song. I actually thought about doing a lesson on this song. The fact that when it came out, it was so huge, and now no one talks about them or knows who they are is why I think it's overlooked. Time has overlooked this record, but when it came out, it was huge. Song 6 is another great one called When You Get There. Awesome song. Love it. Typical. This one actually gives me a little bit of a triumph feel. Reminds me a little bit of Lay It On The Line. That kind of a vibe. Really nice. Song 7, Take Your Fingers From My Hair, is... um. A little art rocky for me. Again, it's, it reminds me of some of the Yes songs I don't care for. Um, but it's still pretty good. There's a B section to the song that I like. But for the most part, the main riff I'm not a huge fan of. Song 8 is a song called Don't Walk Away. And although it's not my favorite song on the album, it definitely shows that this is a live band. You can hear that this is a live band. They, they Even the way they went after the recording of this song, they play it as you would imagine they would play it live. It's not my favorite song on the album. In fact, I, I vie for it for being the weakest. And however, the weakest song on this album is better than most songs on other albums. So it's still a great, great record. But this brings us up to song nine, the La La song, my favorite song on the album. The La La song reminds me of Frank Zappa meets Led Zeppelin on the Houses of a Holy album meets Yes 
There's a guitar solo section in the middle that reminds me of Aerosmith on uh, Kings and Queens. Not surprisingly, since this record is produced by Jack Douglas. But it's a long song, and it's a great song. And if you've never heard it before, go on YouTube and check out the La La song. That's all I'm going to say about this album. It is a great, great record. you got to go listen to it. These, this is classic. There's a lot of bands from around that time that had like one or two hits. If you remember, there was um, 707 was around and had a hit, I Could Be Good For You. There was No Time To Lose by the Tarney Spencer Band. Um, there was Axe who had Rock and Roll Party in the Streets. Anyways... Zebra had the two big hits, but the rest of the album's phenomenal. Check it out. Very good. Mm -hmm. 